what's up guys welcome to our brand new video if you're new here make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get a notification every time i post a new video this video will be different because i'm not really going off of a script like i normally do this one i'm just giving myself a topic which is the regional airlines i've read a ton about it so now i want to just put out a bunch of information on what's going on in the world of regional airlines First, I want to bring up this thing called a scope clause. A scope clause is a part of a contract between an airline and a pilot union. This is most, mostly in the United States and Canada. The clauses are used by the union of a major airline to limit the number and the size of aircraft that an airline may contract out to a regional airline. Basically, they're just trying to protect the jobs of the major airline pilots and the regional airline pilots while making it fair that the major airline pilots still make a reasonable amount of money and the regional airlines they're like low on the list so basically it's like a stepping stone you go from regional to the majors in a regional airline you never make what you can make as a major airline pilot currently american airlines delta and united caps their feet of fleets for their regional jets at 76 seats this limit stands for United until 2019 and until 2020 for American and Delta. Now this limit, it's, it's limiting the sales of other regional jets, which would be very cool to see for the new airline pilots being able to fly some different kinds of jets or maybe carry more passengers. Currently like the Mitsubishi MRJ90 or even the smaller MRJ 70 that's it's really limiting it including the Embraer 175 E2 Delta can have up to 348 aircraft that's 50 seats and below and they can have up to 102 70 seat aircraft and up to 153 76 seat aircraft American and United have similar sets of scope clauses now a lot of regional airlines do have an Embraer 175. They're, they're bringing out a newer version. It's a bit longer and it holds a few more passengers in the 80 seat range, possibly up to 90 passengers for that Embraer 175 E2, which is Skywest. They have ordered the new one. That's because they fly for Alaskan Airlines and Alaskan Airlines doesn't have any scope clauses. They're not as big of an airline in comparison to United, Delta, and American. Actually, Skywest has ordered a hundred Embraer 175 E2s. Skywest has also ordered a hundred Mitsubishi MRJ90 regional jets. So that's that's going to be nice to see those around the U.S. That's a Japanese-made airliner seating 70 to 90 passengers and I know the delivery for those will start in 2020 and deliveries for the Embraer 175E2 will start in 2021. Now those dates are both after the new, I mean the current scope clause for the three major airlines in the US expires so maybe they change it up and allow some bigger planes for the regionals because as we know there's a pilot shortage which means for example, the Embraer 145, which holds about 45 people, two pilots find that in comparison to putting two pilots on a 70-seater, and how currently the Delta fleets and the other airliners are, are limited to a lesser amount of those size fleets. I feel like the new scope clause will kind of lower the number of small aircraft and increase the number of bigger aircraft. Now, most of the regionals are getting to their max amount of 76 seat aircraft. So, Embraer made an Embraer 175 SC. It's basically a different cabin layout that decreases the amount of seats down to 70. So, it's the same plane, but instead of, instead of 76 seats, it's 70. When it was announced, SkyWest Airlines already had ordered 15 of the type. And currently, a lot of regional airlines have 
the CRJ700 in their 70 seat aircraft rain and Embraer wanted to kind of knock out the CRJ700 since it's an aging fleet of aircraft. So they're trying to take that spot because the Embraer 175 SC is the same aircraft as the 76 seater, just 70 seats. It's a special configuration. So currently many say that it's become very clear that the Embraer 175 is the way to go and eventually when the scope clause is updated there will be more to come including that new Embraer 175 E2 and the MRJ90 or the MRJ70 which will be very new to the US. In US and Canada for the 70 seat category there's about 280 CRJ 700s and about 60 Embraer 170s. The 175 SC can carry six more first class seats and has a 500 nautical mile more range than the CRJ 700. And airlines would have an option to convert the Embraer 175 SC into a 76 seat configuration. All right, that's gonna be all for this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a comment, make sure you like the video. And if you did like it, or if you saw something I probably could have done better, leave it in the comments, let me know, give me some feedback. And if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know as well. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later. It's been Marlon the Aviator.